So let's bring in a criminal defense attorney who can help us figure all this out. Maria Hale joins us, ready to, to answer some of these questions. Maria, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Um, my first question is, in the state of Florida, how much experience does a an attorney have to have to be able to represent somebody in a death penalty case? Well, in Florida, they have to be what's called death penalty qualified, where they have had to have sat either second chair on, a, uh, I believe, 10 to 20 death penalty cases. Um, they have to have um, been lead attorney on a certain amount of number of uh, felony cases. They have to complete uh, continuing legal education for that. And so there, it's, a, it's a pretty high standard to do so. And we're just, we're, what I'm getting at, it does Jose Baez um, fit, fit the bill? <laughs> or between Jose Baez well, and no. Cheney Mason, is all that covered? It, it's all covered. Cheney Mason is death penalty qualified. He's been a uh, an attorney in the community here for many, many years and has tried many death penalty cases to verdict. And uh, he is death penalty qualified by the Florida Supreme Court. So between the two of those people, it's covered. Okay, here's a question from Kim. Right. Kim wants to know how long has the prosecution known about the, the drowning defense? Were they caught off guard like it seems everybody else was? Well, this is just word on the street and it hasn't been confirmed. And so again, this is hearsay. And we know what happens when we have hearsay in court, it doesn't come in. But I heard that the state knew approximately five weeks before jury selection started and heard that uh, the defense actually advised the Anthonys about the drowning defense, but did not advise them about the sexual abuse defense and that it was the state a couple of weeks later once they found out prior to the trial starting that they let the Anthony's know so I heard that um, the Anthony's were well aware of what was going to happen in opening statement but again it's just uh, what I heard it's not been corroborated okay let's take it a step further than when we're talking about the, the drowning defense because this is this goes with Vicki's question Vicki says with all the evidence that's presented would the jury be wondering when the attorneys will be bringing up the pool incident. Basically, she's wondering, is the defense going to have to explain that a little bit more? Well, I have to believe that just from the opening statement and the dramatic nature, and, and it was all a bombshell to all of us, but remember, these jurors weren't supposed to have known too much about this case, so I don't imagine that it was a bombshell for them, but certainly it was dramatic when uh, Jose Baez said that she drowned in the swimming pool on June 16th and that her fa uh, Casey's father, George Anthony, found Kaylee in the pool and then screamed at her, and then they, it was a big cover-up. They have to have that in their back of their minds. They're not necessarily necessarily supposed to um, take that in as any evidence or mm -hmm. use it in their deliberations if they never hear any more about it but certainly they're going to want to hear something about it okay maria thank you so much stay there i have plenty more questions for you from our viewers they're very plugged in we appreciate your export expertise very much uh, 